plane crash in sweden kids nine including eight skydivers hi guys thank you so much for tuning in it's your girl comes so a small propeller plane crashed thursday evening in sweden soon after taking off from an airport in orebru so orebru is uh, located at the west side western side of stockholm and this plane crash killed nine people on board which is eight skydivers and the pilot so definitely nobody survived under this plane crash so you guys this is the second fatal accident in two years to involve skydivers or parachutists so in 2019 a plane crashed on a small island in northern sweden killing nine people on board eight of them members of the parachute club so you guys this news uh, the police uh, received the reports at around 7.30 p.m. on Thursday that the plane, which is a DHC-2 Turbo Beaver, which had been rented by a local skydiving club, according to the local news report, had crashed near the runway shortly after taking off. This was a very, very unfortunate situation. So you guys, the plane caught fire upon impact so according to nicholas hildgren who, who who is the deputy head of police for the bugs baris lagging region northwest of stockholm said on friday that officers were investigating the crash with the swedish accident investigation authority and this is what he had to say it was clear very soon that it was a very serious crash during the night it was confirmed that all nine people on board the plane had died firefighters and rescue workers were already on the scene when the police arrived this is what uh, hal green nicholas hal green said so efforts are now underway to identify the victims and it's a comprehensive and complex complex ident identification process mr hal green said adding that all the passengers appeared to be swedish citizen oh my god this is very 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 fatal prime minister stefan lovian of sweden posted on twitter to express his condolences to the families and loved ones of the victim this is what the swedish prime minister had to say it is with great sadness and sorrow that i have received the tragic information about the plane crash in Orebru, he wrote my thoughts are with the victims their family and loved ones in this very difficult time Hans Schall, a flight safety expert who used to work for the swedish transport agency said that the plane that crashed in Orebru on thursday was manufactured in 1966 so it's a 55 year old aircraft still operating he said that does not directly mean that the flight safety is bad but the safety record for this type of plane has a has been a bit mixed anyway guys that's the new the plane crashed nobody survived it killed nine people including uh, which is the sky divers and also the pilot it's rather unfortunate and like we heard that this is the second time in two years that this is happening and guys as we heard from the deputy head of police for the baris lagan region mr nicholas halgren he said that efforts are underway to identify the victims and as he said that is a comprehensive and complex uh, process and it seems or he said that it appeared that most of the victims are swedish citizens oh my god this time in sweden it has been very very difficult time from a police being killed to this plane crash to cyber attack i mean this july has been so terrible i mean like i've just been receiving bad news and which is affecting uh, the swedish citizens directly anyway guys i'll keep you updated if there is something we have to talk about this plane crash maybe at the end of the day the might news might come out why the plane crashed or what was the real cause of this plane crash but for now thank you so much much for tuning in you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye bye say what you want to say to me now